Okay, I want to go back to finishing this Robotron game using Flash. I'm using Flash CS5 Action Script 2.0. And where I left off on this series of tutorials, we had um, I had created this game right here. And when you started out, all I got to was the hero character can walk around. And also, we can shoot the little uh, lasers, right? And so you can walk around and shoot the lasers, but there's no aliens to kill, and there's no score, there's no sound yet. So we, the next part is to create a level one or round one of the aliens attacking him. So I'm going to do that now. All right, if we look in the library of the Flash movie, you will see that I created a folder for the alien graphics and inside that folder here is a um, small GIF and I'll go to properties here you can see the GIF is 13 by 25 it's got transparency and I imported it into flash so I did a file import I imported this GIF into flash and then I dropped it into a movie clip which I've now called MC-Alien and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it, go to properties, and I'm going to export for action script. And I'm going to give it the identifier name of alien. Okay? So its name is going to be alien as far as um, targeting it in our action script code. Okay. So now that the graphic is ready to come into our game, into our movie, I'm going to select the action script, the script layer, where the game on keyframe is, and I'll open up my actions, and I'm going to look for, first of all, in my init function, if I have variables for this alien, and I don't. So I'll make some variables for it. So alien depth will equal 500 alien speed equal to 6 and some of these things I'm not sure if I'm going to use again but I'm just looking at them from my other pr previous version of this game and okay and that looks good okay for right now alien depth 500 alien speed equals 6 and then alien move clock 220 I'm not sure if we're going to use that but that should be enough to get us started so now I'll scroll down in my code we're gonna to have to write our function for creating the alien and when well actually before I do that I will also go right in here and I'm going to look for it where do we actually create the hero? So we have the create hero, right? So I'm going to go down here and say create aliens. Now it's a call for a function to create the aliens, right? Right here. So we're going to need to now write that function. So now I'll scroll down all the way down and I'll say function create aliens alright and now we're ready to write this function okay our first line of code in our create aliens function will be to create an empty movie clip okay so we're going to create an empty movie clip and we're going to give it the name aliens so this empty movie clip will hold all of our alien our alien creatures right and we're going to set it at alien depth okay which we already set up right so that's going to be at 500 if you remember that up at the top in our init function we set alien depth equal to 500 okay alright so now the next line 
So now we have a movie clip called Aliens. So now I'm going to target that movie clip and I'll say aliens dot and I'll set up a new variable for it. Aliens dot alien count equals zero. So we start off we have zero aliens. Now alien count this is a variable it's actually um, a property so I'm actually going to make it instead of a variable like that I'll say alien count all right with a capital C so aliens dot alien count will start off with zero all right and actually I kinda liked it with that might be better alien count so you know that it's basically a variable property in this case all right and all right that sounds good and alien array I'm gonna make an array equals new array okay all right and that's gonna hold all of our aliens so we'll be able to um, index them as the game progresses so we can remove them add some target them all kinds of stuff all right and all right that looks pretty good so now what we're gonna do is we will create a loop in which we can we can um, attach the aliens to the stage so I'm gonna make an inner function uh, variable right now I'm just gonna say I equals game level let's see do we have a game level variable yet let's see here we don't so we're gonna need one so I'll say game level equals one so our game level starts off at level one all right there we go I put that in the init function right game level equals one and then down here at this function I'll say I equals game level all right so I equals one and now we'll run our our loop and instead of doing a for loop I'm gonna do a switch so we'll do a switch we'll start off with a switch and then contain the for loop in the switch so switch I so there's our switch and that will now enable us to target different levels so switch and then the parameters I and so I will pass it the game level which in this case will be one right so first case if the case equals one which it does in this case then we'll run our for loop so here comes a for loop alright okay so now in our for loop what we're going to do is since I used I for the game level I'm gonna to switch to J so I'll also go to J here and I'll say J equals zero and then I'll say as long as J is less than we'll, we'll say 14 14 aliens and then I'll say I'll increment J by one alright so now J will go up by one in this loop right and then what I'll do is I'll say alien array dot push right and we're going to push some objects into our array all right and here's so alien array dot push and inside of the push as we push items into our array I'm going to say aliens movie clip dot attach a movie okay then I need to open and close parentheses here so notice there's this is what I'm working with now and notice the parentheses here right so that's really important so attach movie 
we're going to attach the alien movie clip from our library. We're going to need to give it a new name. So the new name will be alien, right? But plus the aliens movie clip dot alien count. And that needs to be capitalized. Alien count, right? Beautiful. So that'll be its new name. So we're attaching the movie Alien from the library. Its new name will be Alien plus Aliens dot Alien count, right? Which in this case will be zero, right? And then we need to give it, that's its new name, we need to give it a depth level. And for the depth level, we're going to make um, the depth level be Alien depth right plus aliens dot alien count plus plus all right so that should attach in so I'll hit control enter right click here to begin and as you can see right here in the upper left hand co corner at x0 y0 there is our little alien right there um, with registered to the center mark and so if everything worked right that is 14 aliens one right on top of the other